I'm Dr. Berger, and I am the physician lead medical director for the Pulmonary Hypertension Comprehensive Care Center at Mayo Clinic Florida here in Jacksonville. Pulmonary hypertension is the condition where the blood vessels are affected in the lungs typically, and the heart pressures to push the blood through the lung are elevated. So it's just a characterization of that high pressure and the problem with the pulmonary circulation. So it's really a very difficult situation to understand because when folks say hypertension, they immediately think of high blood pressure in the arm. But this is really limited to the lung circulation and the effect on the side of the heart that's responsible for circulating the blood into the lung. At a high level, there are five different diagnostic classifications, one through five. We really need to have an accurate diagnosis even of those subgroups to give the best recommendation for treatment. We know from scientific studies that there's often a delay that's in the neighborhood of one and a half to two years from the time that patients have symptoms until such time that they see a physician that may be an expert in pulmonary hypertension who's able to make the correct diagnosis. So the Pulmonary Hypertension Association really was created by patients. So it's extraordinarily centered and focused on the patient's point of view, their needs, making a correct diagnosis and getting proper treatment to improve their quality of life and of course how long they live.